Assalamu alaikum, this is Muzammil and in this video I'll demonstrate how to create a table of contents from multiple word documents. Let us say that you're writing a thesis and it has five chapters. These five chapters are spread across five different word documents. And once you're done with writing your thesis, you need to create a table of contents for all these five chapters. That's where this tutorial comes in handy. But before I go on to show you how to do that, I assume that you already know how to create a table of contents in MS Word. If you don't know how to do that, I suggest you watch a video on that before proceeding with this video. That said, let's find out how to create a table of contents from multiple Word documents. Let's say my thesis has three chapters, chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. And I'll put them in one folder, and this is the location of the folder. Now, the first thing I do is to create a blank Word document. So I'll create a blank Word document, and I can name it anything. Let me name it Table of Contents. Once I do that, I'll copy the location of this folder, which is this one. So I'll copy it. Next, I'll open the Table of Contents document I created just now. It's a blank Word document. And next, I'll click on Insert, then Quick Parts here, and then I'll choose Field. Here, I'll scroll down and look for RD. That's this one. And then here, I'll paste what I copied earlier on. That's the location of the folder where all the chapters are present. Now, I need to append to this the name of the file. So I'll write here chap one dot docx docx is the extension of the word document in some cases it could be doc once i do that i'll copy it because i need to use it again and i'll click ok i'll go again to quick parts field i'll look for rd again and then i'll paste what i copied earlier on but this time i'll change chapter one into chapter two I'll click on OK. I'll go back to Quick Parts, Field. I'll look for RD again. And then I'll paste what I copied before. Now I'll change Chapter 1 to Chapter 3. So I made the changes for Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3 because I have only three chapters in my thesis. If you have five chapters in your thesis, you need to do this five times. Then I'll click on OK. Next, I'll click on Page not page layouts. I'll click on References, and then I'll click on Table of Contents. Then I can choose one of several built-in Table of Contents here. Let me choose the first one for this tutorial. So I'll click on this one, and Word will automatically start building your Table of Contents, which reflects the contents in all the three chapters of my thesis. So here we have the Table of Contents. If you make any changes in your parent chapters, you just need to update it here, and the changes will reflect in table of contents here also. So that's how we create a multiple, we create a table of contents from multiple Word documents. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.